So here, this is why you need your car paint corrected before ceramic coating or whatever coating you call it, okay? Because look how beautiful in the video I'll show you. This guy is the guy, okay? Check out this guy. I'll put his info in the description below. All right? Get it go. <laughs> Thanks, man. Hello, everybody. So the uh, Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quadrifoglio is fully uh, ceramic coated and paint protected. So we're gonna go around and take a look at the work that Brandon Shin has done to this car and I'm gonna walk you to, through the uh, pros and cons of ceramic coating and uh, uh, paint correction, okay? So we can look at it in detail and you guys can way whether it's worth it for you or not all right but this car looks beautiful right now and uh, I wouldn't want to miss the opportunity to make this video uh, to give some information to you guys all right I'm gonna switch around walk around the car the car, the car while uh, while we discuss the pros and cons of ceramic coating all right so this car came with pretty bad paint. If um, I made a video of it, but the camera will probably won't pick it up. This whole hood right here had a haze. I mean, if you're standing here, right where I'm standing, and it wasn't paint corrected, it was full of haze. You can just see like a layer of of some sort of hazy uh, film across the paint that you cannot remove even if you wash it or you polish it with you know just a regular uh, buffer all right so that's why I decided to have this coated uh, but first let's step back I keep say, saying ceramic coating but you can ceramic coat a car all day long but the most important part of the step is the correction which means you got to correct the paint first you got to remove the flaws the the dirt the grime that has accumulated so look at that sparkle right there over the paint all right that's the most important step so if anyone wants to sell you a ceramic coating you need to ask them if they're going to do a one-step, two-step uh, paint correction. What it means is that they're going to polish the car and remove all the imperfections of the paint. If you take a look at this before it was corrected, this black piece right here was all scratched up. Swirl marks and scratches, you could visibly see. That's why I wanted this angle because the sun... Uh, you know shines on it so you can see that it's so shiny and polished right wow and this area right here was terrible yeah I got like about this far and then I said I got my three inch out I oh can't you can see that. you can see the paint how it sparkles now yeah this one has gotten the treatment yeah, it's coming out good yeah gotta get this fender flare still my big so this car was um, corrected via two-step so Brandon Shin did a two-step uh, paint correction of this car to get rid of the imperfections of the paint um, so that's the most important step before you even coat the car okay so make sure whoever you're going with has to paint correct the car or fix the paint first. There's some dirt and stuff already on it sticking right there. But you can see the sparkle of the paint. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. It sparkles. So the paint of this car is Rosso Competizione. 
I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's a uh, an extra uh, payment, an option to get that paint. Uh, so here's the side of the car that's shaded. I'm going to turn around the car in a little bit so that you can see that other side, how perfect the paint is. But you got to do that first. So make sure it's corrected and then you coat the whole car okay let me turn around this car so you guys can see the other side let me a second so here's the other side of the car as you can see I mean look at this panel right here look how sparkly and polished it is right this car has so many curbs that it looks beautiful Whew, I can't stop looking at how pretty this car is so the let's go with the, the, the pros of the ceramic coating first the pros are that when the car is properly polished or paint corrected and coated you should be able to expect this type of paint some sometimes better than brand new even the Hellcat when which I ordered from factory had some blemishes in it that had had to be had to be corrected right so if it's done properly by a skilled um, paint corrector and ceramic coating person like Brandon Shin you should expect the paint to be in pristine condition and it's smooth smooth like a baby's bum very smooth you cannot feel any thing on your finger here that if it's dirty or has imperfection in it you can feel some grit on your paint so that your paint is in pristine condition better than new at times right so you should expect that that's one second is um, it's shiny and sparkly like this even if the car is dusty or dirty it still would look beautiful the paint would look beautiful just because that's what the ceramic coating does you know it brings out the the beauty of the car it's paint and you can see it better and it really pops as you can see in this video the second a third one is that it's so much easier to clean so if you clean the car you wouldn't be struggling trying to wipe it down because it just the dirt just fall off right so if it rained today you will see how hydrophobic the paint is and that's part of the ceramic coat it makes the the uh, paint resilient or resistant to the dirt and its hydropoic hydropoic properties I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right but I'm doing my best here and the third is um, the paint is protected so it will resist scratches and you know bird poop and uh, and uh, dirt and grime and, and bugs uh, it won't destroy the clear coat of the car. I mean, man, look at this, how sparkly this is. So those are the pros. The cons of ceramic coating is this. Number one, you got to find a guy that knows how to do this properly. You got to find that person in your area, you know. And a lot of times, a lot of people that do this charge way too much money. Okay, find a person that can do this by reputation properly paint correct properly and ceramic coat properly using reputable products and um, uh, make sure that they don't overcharge you so um, Brandon didn't charge me a whole lot if I had a uh, you know really crazy uh, high-end place this would probably cost three four thousand dollars but I didn't pay that much for this one so make sure you find the right person okay the disadvantage it can cost uh, a little bit 
So you got to be willing to pay for what you are going to get, but you're going to get this pristine paint like like so. So um, those are the, the cons and not very many actually. If it's done properly, that's the, the key. It has to be done properly by a person who knows how to do it. Uh, then you'll get results like this. So I'll put Brandon's uh, description or, or contact info. You can visit him on Instagram at Dynamic Coatings LLC. Or you can just message him on Facebook. But I'll put his contact in the description below. So check it out below, right? In the description right here. Uh, so you guys can contact him if you're local. Or even if you're not local, maybe you can arrange, you know, driving over here uh, to see him. Because I highly recommend his work, as you can see. Even in the shadow side of things. Let me straighten up that steering wheel. So, you got to find an installer and someone like Brandon Shin that can do this properly. Alright, that's the key to paint protection and ceramic coating and paint correction. Remember, you got to correct the paint first. Make sure all the blemishes and the dirt and grime is removed before you ceramic coat it. And this car was ceramic coated, not only the paint, the wheels were ceramic coated, the glass, I mean the windows, windshield was ceramic coated. Uh, so this car is well protected um, from the elements. So you should see this car, we'll make a video two years from now, this paint is going to be a sparkly as it is currently. I mean, look at how it sparkles. I hope you can see that, right? So we'll make a video two years from now to show you guys how this car has been protected because we chose to have this paint corrected and ceramic coated, right? So, man, that's just beautiful so hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully you guys were able to get some information that can help you make a decision whether you're gonna ceramic coat your car or not make sure paint protection paint correct first before ceramic coating find a reputable installer and make sure they don't charge too much uh, reasonably because it's a lot of work it took him three days to get this done so you gotta account for the labor and the materials that he's going to use to to do this properly right so some people overcharge some people just charge correctly uh, so you gotta kind of look at the market of what people are paying for this such work but I'm extremely pleased with with the results I highly recommend Brandon Shin get him get a hold of him link in the description below for his contact information and uh, hopefully you can like share and subscribe to my channel that'll help a lot all right take care and i'll go drive around see you later bye for now